Yo, what's up guys, Eki here. First 20 and on Xbox One, rank 3, let's freaking go. Ultimate choice pack, ultimate pack, and 11 whole champions collectibles, come on. We also have an X Factor choice pack from the daily objectives. Let's open this first. I think this will be the last X Factor I will open. I have five of them in my team, Crosby, Eichel, Matthews, Hedman, and Yossi. And they're so expensive to upgrade farther down the line. McDavid just got his 97 card. He costs eight power-up collectibles to upgrade from 96 to 97 so i think the 5 6 is kind of the maximum for me to get let's open the first one brad marchand that sucks i still don't have mcdavid that's that's the x factor i want but after seeing how much he costs to upgrade ah, it's not really even all that second one barzal i don't love either one of those choices barzal is fast though o'reilly third one o'reilly could be like an end game fortline center 96 face-offs and uh, he would have called quick draw and uh, he's always very good in game part one i like aho i do but this choices could be better there's not really any guaranteed end game cards so far from those four choices oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh okay data makina there we go that's like a very good card i want but let's go okay so this is an easy mckinnon after mcdavid mckinnon might might just be the best option Wheels, magnetic. Look at his stats as a 95 overall at this point. Looks unreal. Then ultimate pack 20 items, all plus 80 overall players. Three left. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Final pack, ultimate choice pack. Select a total of 15 players over five rounds, at least 80 overall or better. Let's hope we get something better than that last pack. <laughs> Okay, I know this is only a Tyler Motte, but getting an 87 overall from your first round is a good sign for later rounds. Another purple. Okay, I feel like usually in the choice packs when you get high overall players uh, early on, you get them later on as well, but let's not jinx it. Second round, nothing. Round three. Oh, I might have just jinxed myself, man. Round four. Oh, man. Final round. Come on, man. We need something here. Yes. Oh, there's the 97 primetime McDavid out. Oh, don't give me the basic one. It's just so shit. Oh, I hate when there's a special card of somebody in the market and it doesn't. Okay. Oh, that really pissed me off. At least I got Pusnevich also. Don't think he will be worth that much, but I think I will save him for a set later on. Look at this man. Prime time February 23rd. Go 97 Connor McDavid. <laughs> Let's skip to Rivals Rewards tomorrow, then my team. Alright, it's Thursday. Rivals Rewards are here. Looking at the team, first of all, looks like EA changed the ability limit cost. We will go over that soon. First line still the Finnish line, line of Barkov and I've absolutely been loving this line. Second line Kuznetsov, Crosby and Eichel, I've been loving Jack Eichel. Third line, I got McKinnon 290 overall with my uh, Champions Collectibles and McDavid and Aho are with him. Then fourth line Matthews, Peter Kasegui. If you think endgame here, Rantanen will be in. Barkov will 100% get a team of the season, right? So I will play with Leaders Barkov until he gets a team of the season. Then I will upgrade this Barkov to the team of the season. Second line, all end game. Aho and McDavid, I will get rid of. McKinnon end game. Matthews and Seguin end game. So we are in a pretty good situation here. Just need to upgrade our axe factors consistently and hope Kuznetso scores a couple and. <laughs> you know how it goes. Defense Pietrangelo and Hedman, Josi Ekblad, Klimberg, Verenski. No changes. Defense lacks off from my offense. A lot. Hedman and Josi are the only endgame players here. I don't even know if I really love Josi. He might not fit my endgame team. Lot of work to done in my defense. Annunen is still in my net. The abilities. <sighs> I have no idea what was actually done. Basically, the shooting ones seem to be down. Passing ones seem to be down. Shutdown is up. Post to post is up. Born leader is up. I don't even know why I think born leader is pretty pointless. I actually like this one better than the last one. Nobody really used the shooting ones. And things like shutdown and post to post, which, which every single player had uh, basically active, now costs more than... Uh, they did. One more thing about the abilities. When I was checking Twitter earlier, a lot of people were jumping on Nosley's neck. 
about these changes. Most of the community seems to think he made these changes happen. So of course there's this group game changers where we have direct contact with the EA devs. Everybody says their opinions there and of course if things like this will be changed there will be a discussion about it. So it's not like no slaves can hit a button and all this stuff changes. So I, just, I don't really know what the fuss is about. But the thing is I don't understand why people are angry. Aren't the abilities more balanced now? It made no sense that the shooting one, some of the shooting ones cost 10 abilities to activate as code ones, but shutdown was. Was it two points before and post post was four? They're not in a good balance, so I think the abilities are in a better, better place now in general. So let me know in the comments, what do you think of these ability changes? If you like it, why do you like it? And if you don't like it, Tell me why. Everyone, thank you for watching. At the end here, highlights of my whole champions run. Everyone, have a great day. Stay safe. And see you next time. Who's net so? Nice play! You see the back post? It's kind of open. You want to see a sauce? What a freaking soul. Oi, 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 Jack, I can. Nice play. I guess.